each port commander. We are currently experiencing a lot of traffic at the moment and cannot sustain any more visitors for long. Please consider staying on the port for your resupply if you pay needs instead. We are truly sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. This is your port port commander, Graymon Clark, over and out. Welcome. You are a port major. We are currently experiencing a lot of traffic at the moment. Sustain any more visitors to our docks. Please Anyone out there? We are truly sorry for any mistakes this may cause. We are truly sorry for any mistakes over and out. Have you made visual with Hidden Richard? Only a few nap boys, that's it. Okay, that's odd. Yeah, we're running on the wires to tell you. We're doing approximately 6% or our normal speed. Oh. So, when can we expect contact? Shh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, you look tired, are you okay? Actually, I'm exhausted. Evelyn, would you mind taking the helm for a while? Sure. Thanks. And shout if there's life on the horizon, will ya? I'm gonna check on Bob. Okay, Bob. First of all, you give me stronger brew than this sorry ass excuse for a coffee. Here you go. That's better, Bob. All right, folks, listen up. As you probably noticed by now, we're moving quiet. That means we're moving slower than usual. I see no reason lying to you all, so here goes. We've actually been chewing wire since a few miles back and we'll be dead in the waters between five to 10 miles from now. The good news is that with a slight bit of luck, we'll be able to reach Heaton Ridge within three to six miles. Is the message still broadcasting? Haven't checked. Should be. I think when the client has come up here. Report. Why don't you take a peek yourself, Captain? Check up on that broadcasted message. Check digital stamps, huh? validity, the sender, and also check the source of the signal. I gotta go tell the others. Hey, what are you going to tell them? I'm gonna tell them that we're the first in the freaking line. So we dropped anchor? Yep. We've dropped the anchor. Rat, are you fit to repair the power cells without dry dock in this hose side? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, we'll have to replace them all together. Is that doable? Do we have a choice? So, we go ashore, grab what we can, fix the ship, and then what? Help to stay low, low? No, we stay. Listen guys, Heathen Ridge is the only place on the net still broadcasting. Sure it's a loop, it's been recorded for quite some time, but someone or something recorded that and it's still running. 
something or someone are still broadcasting it. So that means we got up and running equipment at least. Someone alive and present at most. Come on, guys. So, have we reached any decision on anything? No, we haven't. You got any, any ideas? Um, actually, I checked the signal as you asked, and, uh, well... Spit it out, Julia. There wasn't really a signal. What? I heard the signal. There what was mean? There was two signals. And, uh, which one was the first and which one was the second? Uh, actually, I think we missed the second one. I really just heard it now and, well... What does it say? Almost nothing. Just a hello followed by... Anyone out there? Maybe they had fuel cells. Well, the first loop... The one from the harbor? Is oh, we're talking weeks, perhaps months, and the second one is old. How old? I don't know. Also, is older. It's, it is a weak signal, though, and the digital signature suggests that it could be perhaps he is. <sighs> okay, Bob, Rat, you go to the harbor. Two words fuel cells and food. Actually, fuel cells are two words. Oliver and I go and look for the signal. See if you can find some tools also for the machinery. And I think Gavolin should go with us. We need someone to help us triangulate the source.